Minister, some uh, councils spent thousands and millions upgrading bridges before the, um, this event. The Risington Bridge, for example, was upgraded to a one in 500 year event and it's gone. Um, do you think there needs to be sort of, sort of almost a national template for bridges or some sort of coordinated approach between your ministry and Waka Kotai and councils to sort of ensure that our bridges are as strong as possible? Well, this is a very relevant point and, and what you identify here uh, is that in some of these regions we've now seen repeat weather events over a period of a year or two where critical assets, roads, bridges uh, and other transport infrastructure has just been hit again and again and again. And whether it's a Risington Bridge, State Highway 35 around the Cape, uh, State Highway 25 around Coromandel, we've had multiple closures. So a couple of things I would say there. The first is we have to recognise that this is climate change uh, in action and we're going to have more of these events. That means that we need to double down on our efforts to be reducing our emissions as well. So the resilience work, the repair work is critical but this is a huge message that we've got to deal with the core problem as well to stop the situation from getting worse. Um, secondly, Waka Kotahi does work very closely uh, with uh, local councils to make sure that we have strong design standards across all of our assets, including bridges. What we saw with Cyclone Gabriel was an event of such magnitude that even some assets that were designed very well to those sorts of standards were unable to withstand either water or debris. Again, Mark, you might uh, can probably provide some good comment in terms of the um, the standards that we, we design uh, these, these bridges to. Yeah, so we do have a, a bridge manual, and of course each council can decide what level of service they're going to provide uh, and what access they need to provide and what that solution might look like. But I think we've seen that the volume of water and the damage it caused, we might have to reset the thinking in terms of the height of bridges and the security of access. So that's we're just continually learning as we've seen the nature of this event and the impact it's having on our uh, transport assets. I will just add to that that the, that the next stage of work after we restore critical connections around the re this region and others uh, is, to, is, to, is to be moving on to that set of questions you raise about making sure that our assets and our tra and transport are as resilient as possible. We do need to build back better in some of these key places which are critical connections and which have proven vulnerable to some of these events. So that will be a huge priority for us. Immediately we just need to restore access, but that's the next phase of work that we'll be moving on to.